Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Louie. My dog William and I are converting my 1989 Ford Aerostar to travel in full time. In this video, we are going to be installing tongue and groove and fabricating our own trim to cover up the ugly bits around the fan. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Hope you enjoy! I've been thinking a lot about what it means to build something on your own and to really just enjoy the experience of building something. The last build that I did, I was in a place where I was really rushed to finish and get back to California where I went to school. i um, really grateful right now to have the time and the like slow quiet time to be building out this fan right now so definitely takes a lot of persistence and just like sheer passion to finish something like this especially when it's like all by yourself and you're learning things i don't really have any access other than youtube to and the internet to learn how to do all of these things so i've just been thinking a lot about how this time around building this fan, I want to be a lot more, um, just take my time with it more and take the time to research things. And I'm hoping this build turns out exactly how I want. I mean, nothing will ever be exactly how you want, but. And I really want this series to inspire other people to go out and do it on their own. And you don't necessarily need to have a big van to make a really comfy and cozy home and to get out on the road and uh, pursue your dreams. That's where I'm at. Before, I was thinking I was going to buy a big bus and, um, well not big bus, like a mini schoolie and I realized that I have this van sitting here that I can do out and um, continue to go on the road. So. Yes, while I wanted a little schoolie, I'm making things work with, with, with what I have and I'd rather spend the time working on this van and get out on the road sooner than have to wait longer. So yeah, because that is what the spirit of this lifestyle is. It is to live an alternative lifestyle and as well as for me, it is to get out on the road and see things because Life is too goddamn short, so get out there. So if you look at this mess and you feel overwhelmed by all of these cables and things going everywhere and everything, um, click up here because there is going to be a full explanation of how to set up your solar power system. Click there, click there, yeah, 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 yeah. Next, we are going to map out our LEDs and kind of get an idea of where we want to put them and kind of set up the wiring. Um, not entirely sure if I'm going to be able to do all of it. Liam is doing a great job helping me right now. He is taking a nap. All right, so we got all of that stuff moved to the other side and we have the wiring moved from this side all the way through here through the panel, or through the car hole thingies, don't know what those are called, <laughs> and um, moved over to this side. So we're not going to hook all of this stuff up. There's Ella. Hey, Ella. <laughs> oh, you see a squirrel? Do you see a squirrel, buddy? <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> these, so the way my mom had the ceiling, she had it going across, so she put these beams, and you can attach them to the metal um, rim thingies um, on the ceiling of your van, and then from there put in your plywood, whatever it is that you want to be your ceiling. But um, since I'm going to go vertically down that way, I am going to just put them straight in to the metal beam, um, see how that goes. <laughs> but that is basically what is going to happen. But my mom did such a good job. I'm sorry, mom, I'm taking down all of the hard work you did. We are going to try to reuse all of these little beams. We'll probably use those for some framing um, for some of the cabinets slash the bed, maybe, so. Ah, 
So I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube to try to figure out how to use screws and screw things in um, better. <laughs> um, it's like a really basic thing to look up but I've been trying to just, I don't know, become an expert in like the types of screws that you can use. We're gonna try out a couple of methods of um, putting screws into this plank so that we can see what works the best before we actually decide to just go for it because that's normally what I do. So now we have switched out to my drill and we are going to try counter, adding a little counter sink hole for um, the screws. This is what we're working with. We had a little crack. This is very, um, what's the word, grainy or veiny <laughs> wood. So I have to be really careful. And I think that's the downside of buying wood that is a bit cheaper, is that you're going to end up having, kind of struggling. So I just wanna say that when you're not an expert builder, you're going to encounter a lot of problems like this when you're building out your van. And so I just want to say, experiment a lot. I wish I had done that in my last build and it will really help you save time and money um, to kind of figure out what the better solution is. So I'm probably actually going to try this screw longer screw. I think this is the one we're going to go with. Um, I'm going to try it out a couple more times to see if I can get it to not crack the wood um, a few more times before I decide this is the solution. So I want to say please comment down below if you are good at this stuff and you know the solution to this problem because um, it might help somebody else out and um, I don't really know what I'm doing so yeah let's help each other out in this process. Uh, maybe somebody knows so definitely go down in the comments and see if someone um, gave a solution to this. Okay So I explained all of that stuff and turns out that I'm just gonna keep it like that and um, I'm still in the process of testing with this tongue and groove will hold up if I just put it in and like use friction to um, keep every panel in place kind of like, like that I'm just trying to minimize the amount of screws that I need to put in, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And then here's the other screw that I put in there. Yeah, we're just trying to minimize the number of screws just to make it look clean and finished. And um, so yeah, it's taking me much longer than I thought it would take to figure this out, but I'm doing it. William, come on, this way. <laughs> go inside the van, go. Go, go, go. Whew. He's unsure. All right, after, take, after taking a long break, this is where we're at now. We are cutting more of the panels to size. I got one up and that's it for today. <laughs> so I've been measuring everything out and then putting this tape on here to kind of hold together the wood since it's so soft and then it's been coming out and then you cut it on the wrong side so that you don't mess up the pretty side so using that that's been working pretty okay it's definitely a challenge this wood so remember how i was saying that you have to make sure that you follow all of the safety rules well <laughs> i'm a hypocrite because <laughs> I've been using these sunglasses and I haven't been wearing ear, these ear plugs because I have to keep taking them in and out and I'm just lazy, so. And William is fussing because he's sitting at the front seat and he wish he could be right next to me. <laughs> but we're gonna cut this board. All right, the little hole where the fan fits is cut out. And once it's up, I'm going to uh, cover it with trim on the sides to make it look neat. Look at that, they're all cut out. Now it's time to put them up. <laughs> William is getting so sleepy. It's dark in here, but he's tired. I think it's time for us to call it a night. He's a good indicator that it's probably time to take a break. 
Hey guys, so it is another day of working on the van. We're about to head out to the van in the yard and finish hanging up all of the ceiling today and get all the lights in and go from there. It's really just, at this point, I'm just taking it a day at a time and doing what I can with the money that I have and the time that I have. Keep on keeping on with the van. Went swimming in that pool yesterday. William, come here. He loves getting in the van. Every time I go towards the van, he's so excited. This is how you know he's a van dog. Oh, you're ready to go? Ready to go on an adventure? Yeah. Well, today we're just gonna be hanging the ceiling. He's like, I don't care, Mom. As long as we're hanging out in the van and we're working towards our goal of going on adventures, I'm a happy boy. Uh, so I forgot how much of a wreck it is in here. Um, but we are going, oh, and some of the insulation fell when I was driving yesterday. Um, yeah, so this is all I have done on the ceiling so far. I don't know, I'm playing games here. I need to just finish this. What am I doing? We're gonna finish this today because I need to move on to the next step like ASAP. I'm ready. I do have the electrical currently going and turned on, except I don't have any of the dimmers or switches hooked up yet, so this light is just perpetually on. But I got the fan going again, so we can turn that on. It's been really warming up here in Oregon, and so it is a lot hotter, and it's like relative like to how cold it is normally. Like I'm so used to uh, cold weather now that Anything that is above like 75 feels hot to me. How this fan go inwards? I don't know. I'm just like so excited to get all of this going today. I don't know. I just woke up feeling really just inspired and like excited to like go on the road again and start exploring more. I don't know. It hit me today. And I was talking to my mom about it and we just, we were getting each other worked up about it. So <laughs> I'm so excited and so inspired to get this van done and to like be a part of the revolution again. I took like a little break here, living in a house or whatever, but I just feel like I even more so know now that I've lived in a, a house again, know that this is the, like this is the change this is gonna be the future there are gonna be so many more people moving into uh van life and nomad nomadic living and alternative living here in the next decade i think as our population grows and as housing becomes more hard to obtain i don't know i just like felt really excited and i was like I i'm starting to feel like even more excited and really happy to be part of inspiring people in the movement of changing how you look at how you can live life. There are so many other ways that you can live your life and this is one of them and I think it's really cool. So I'm just excited for this community to get more diverse and for people to live it in ways that are unique and interesting and just to see everybody happy living the life that they want to live. So. Yes, I, I've definitely had a lot of caffeine this morning, but. All right, I'm gonna stop talking to camera and start working. Like, what am I doing? Just like sitting here, <laughs> excited. It's like, I'm in dreamland right now where I'm just imagining all of the really cool things that are happening in the world in terms of people switching over to alternative living. Oh, hey, it's an Aerostar. It's a twin. Okay, so we've got some of the boards up now. Over here is a little bit not perfect, but I'm going to put like a little framing piece of wood here anyways, and that'll hold that up nice. But tongue and groove is pretty challenging. It's definitely not as easy as like just getting a piece of plywood and like cutting it out to the size and just putting it up. Yeah, it's just like you have to do each piece one by one and like, this is like pretty cheap pine that I got, so it's not super, everything's not super perfect and like every piece is a little bit different. William's over here resting. It's a strange, strange boy. He just likes to be with me while I do this stuff a lot. But I just made the mark for the next LED that is gonna go in here. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna make that hole there and then hang it up.
because this is pretty cheap um, wood or it's pine. Um, you have to be really careful and I, I would do this anyways on, a, on your board is put some duct tape down and then you just got to go really really slowly with your drill bit and um, I do it on the right side of the board because otherwise it gets all chippy so so I do I just go really slowly in the middle of the two and then make the little hole that will fit my light and then I will flip it and reverse it and then you want to also make sure that your weight is pretty evenly distributed over um, the whole circle area. It's kind of hard to do. I suggest practicing it on a piece of wood before trying it, a piece of scrap wood. it just help you kind of get an idea of how it works. Alright, I think we'll be able to bob it out now. See what it looks like on this side. Okay, so it hasn't made it quite through. We're almost there. Just patience is the key with this one. So we made it. All right, and then next, I just carefully take off all of the duct tape. So very carefully. Oh, that wasn't super carefully. But I just want the front part to look super neat still. There's a little round hole. And then, as you can see on this bottom, it's like very chippy. That's why I do it on the front. But I'm just gonna carefully pop it out. It's okay if it's a little chipped since it's on the bottom side. I'm gonna put the camera down and do that. So yeah, there's our little hole in the front. In the back, it's a bit chipped. But that's okay, no one's gonna see that. All right, let's put the light in. And this light's a little broken. That went in a lot easier than I thought. There's another light. This one isn't sitting super flat, but that's okay. It's no biggie. Little things in the van that only you were gonna know about. <laughs> that do keep me up at night. No, just kidding. <laughs> Let's go hang it in the van. We got another one and hook the electrical up for it. So we have two lights going. Okie pokey. don't mind this little crack here. <laughs> I still have to work out how to make that all of this lay evenly. Huh. It's not perfect, um, but we are. I just drilled all the holes in for the LEDs that are gonna go over the couch bed thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What now, son? So this is where I tapped into the main one coming from the fuse box and use the little connectors to connect the three wires together and then it's just running along here and then I connected them all there. Okay, so update after many uh, hours of trying to figure this out and also going to Home Depot and uh, getting more of this uh, paneling stuff. We have completed a little more than half of the paneling. It's been quite a challenge to get it all to line up just right. Um, but I think it looks pretty good. It's not perfect. But nothing in this van is gonna be perfect because I am not a professional. At the end of the day, I like, in order to validate all of the mistakes that I've made and make myself feel better, I just tell myself it's really cool that I've done this by myself and the mistakes that I have in the van, that will be in the van forever, are just reminders that I did this all on my own. I think we're going to stop for today and continue tomorrow, and um, I got some of this trimming stuff um, that I want to put on the fan there. So I'm gonna cut that down tomorrow, and I think I'm gonna try doing some of those like vertical or diagonal cuts on here. Um, I'm gonna try to do it with my jigsaw. Uh, but so we, we will see. And then another goal for tomorrow is to finish this. I'm thinking I might want to make these kind of like offset a little bit so that as they get get it gets lower, it gets smaller. Or I don't know. Or I, or I'm thinking, yeah, this side will get smaller, 
and then this side will get bigger because it's like kind of slanted and I want to um, keep as much of the beautiful window space as possible. This has been what I've gotten done today. I'm pretty proud of how much work I got done. <laughs> it looks so good. <laughs> Yay! I'm so excited! <laughs> Another step done and tomorrow we will continue and finish up all of this paneling to make it look all nice and neat as best as I possibly can do it <laughs> with the tools I have. So we're going to finish that tomorrow and then yeah move on from there. Alright we're back at the van, back back at the van, yeah back at the van. And today we are adding the trim to the van and I'm thinking really hard about it because it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. You have to like cut it and then I have to like cross the joint, like I have to make joints out of the wood so that it's like smooth and stuff and I don't know how to do that so <sighs> we're thinking about it. We're like really hardcore thinking about it. William is chewing his bone as per usual. Ugh, yeah. Um, yeah. Definitely feeling sore from yesterday, so I'm like moving a bit slower today. I was like so hyper yesterday. Today I'm like, my body hurts, but I'm gonna finish this. It's gotta, it's gotta, today is the day that this section of the van is going to be complete. All right, so I uh, couldn't figure out the, the, the trim stuff so we're just taking a minute and working on something else and these are the little panels that are gonna go up here so we're gonna put them right there I freak fracking oh you can't see I freak fracking did it it's done a freak fracking, oh, low frames per second. A freak fracking did it, look at it. I also fixed this crack that looked really bad. And now all I gotta do is a trim. I'm telling you, oh, see look, this is how I'm all scrambled right now. Um, yeah, I'm freaking done with this paneling. I don't want to panel another thing for the rest of my life. Like, I promise you, I will never panel another thing ever again. No, I'm just kidding. It wasn't that bad, but it still freaking sucked. And my arms are so sore and tired now. They're just floppy, tired spaghetti noodles now. But we did it. And now, all we have left today and for this video is to finish the trim which I could epically fail at here, but I think we're gonna just do it. Okay, fine. Okay, here we go. We are going to make the frame for the fan, and I don't know what I'm doing. Initially, I was gonna do miter cuts, but I think that's a little too complicated for me to really understand with the tools that I have. <laughs> so we're just gonna give up on that dream and just take it one side at a time because my brain cannot think further than one side at a time. And I tried drawing it five times, so don't add me, but here we go. We're just gonna cut the first one, see how it turns out. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to another day of building. And we finally got to the trimming and I cut it out to size and now I'm gonna paint it this color here and then hang it up I don't recommend doing what I did because it's just way too complicated so I'm not gonna go into too much depth about it but it's gonna we're almost there so y'all I am officially done with the trim for the fan and yes it took me forever but I'm super happy with how it turned out. It's not perfect, Avi. I used this wood fill stuff to fill in the little cracks between the little joints that I made. And then I bought uh, just a sample of this paint. I think I made it work. It looks nice to me and I love the color. 
that I'm gonna be going for. So yeah. William, how happy are you to be done? I am super happy to be done with this part of the build and I hope that this video has been helpful to you and has given you a little bit of insight, I guess, um, or was just entertaining. Uh, <laughs> anyways, I am so happy with how it looks in here. And comment down below if you are also working on a van, uh, what step you are on. And because um, I'm really interested to know um, if y'all are working on vans yourself or not. So thanks for watching this video. I will see you in next week's. Bye.